There are two conditions under which a marriage may be dissolved apart from death. Paul is saying that the believer who has been wronged, who is the innocent party, is free to remarry. The union has been broken. You no longer are bound by it, which then assumes that you have the right to remarry. The Apostle Paul says this, if there's abandonment, if they abandon the covenant, then the person who is abandoned is not bound. What's that mean? You are now set free. Set free for what? To be able to be married. The innocent party is, is permitted, it's lawful for them to sue out a divorce. And after the divorce, to marry another as if the offending party were dead. In situations where the divorce was permissible, remarriage is also permissible. I will never go to a couple who's on their second or third or fourth marriage and say, it was adulterous of you to move into this, and every night you sleep together, you're committing adultery, and you need to break this marriage and split up. I don't think that's the case. Basically, once the eggs have been scrambled, you cannot unscramble them. It's not arrogance if you're right. I don't need to win any debates. Uh, Moses, or uh, Noah, didn't win many debates, but he was right. <laughs> and I think it's arrogant for those people to think that God is wrong. Uh, because this is easy. This is simple stuff. This is not... This is not, I am not an academic, I just, I just mentioned that. This is easy stuff. Uh, it's very hard to obey. It doesn't take, it doesn't take a lot of, uh, the, there's simplicity. Jesus says that there, there's simplicity in the gospel. And that's why I, I can understand it. I'm not an academic, and, but it wasn't hard to understand. It does take courage, and it does take laying down your life. It does take uh, sacrifice. It does take picking up your cross and and following after after the Lord.